When the month of April hits, it becomes time to shank off the rain for area sports. Only today, it was too much to overcome. Rain postponed several area baseball and softball games. Yeah, they're calling off and pushed back. That list includes Union Endicott at Horsehead and Vestal at Corning. Hoping no more rain is coming our way. But you know that's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's continue to be optimistic. Lacrosse, after last night's drubbing in Binghamton, the Corning boys will host Union Endicott tomorrow night at 730. And the game versus the Tigers at UE will now be the 28th of April. Poor field conditions are to blame at UE's Ty Cobb Stadium. The Hawks have rebounded quite well after a big loss to Victor, a state powerhouse team, on Friday. Congrats to Cornell's Brian McAfee. Yeah, he's the Ivy League Pitcher of the Week for the second time this year. McAfee had a two-hit shutout versus Dartmouth on Saturday. He's 4-1 on the season for the Big Red. Out of some football, a total of 26 NFL scouts were in attendance for Syracuse football's pro day today. Former Syracuse safety Darius Kelly was one of the top performers for the Orange today. Cuse quarterback alum Ryan Nassif, get this, even in attendance to help throw to some wide receivers. Great stuff right there. And it's official, the Watkins Glen Board of Education has its new team name for Odessa and Watkins Glen's newly combined football team. They'll be called the Seneca Indians and their colors Navy blue, maroon, and white, incorporating full school colors. Luke Conant Jr. will be taking over the reins as their first head coach ever. And if you missed it last night, Duke won the NCAA men's basketball title game over Wisconsin right here on WYTV CBS 68-63. This marks the fifth national title in Duke history. And here's the final standings of the WYTV Bracket Madness Tournament. My brother John Melnoski taking it home while Sam Potter and Ross do the day. Round up the top three. And Johnny always won when we were kids. He wins again.